One of the steps in building wooden gears is to wax at least some of the gear surfaces. The ones that they mention explicitly for the pendulum clock are the sharp teeth gear and the pendulum, here and here. But I'm going to go through the process I use to wax all of the gear teeth. The wax that comes with the pendulum clock kit is this, a small dish of flaky wax, which is great for the pendulum. It also works quite well with the gear, just stick the pointy bits in. But it's not so easy to lubricate the teeth of a more typical gear. I have a different type of wax that I prefer, a glade candle and a toothpick. This has the advantage that it's a very soft wax and you can stick the toothpick in and pull out a glob and put it on the gear. Let's use this basic gear as a guinea pig. First off, I'm not too worried about being very neat or getting too much wax on the gear. The point is to get the wax into the gear and then have the gears themselves, through use, distribute the wax more evenly. The basic process is simple and boring. You can zip right through this. I should note that you don't need to mark where you start. It's pretty clear which teeth have wax and which don't. Most of my effort is used in putting wax into the troughs. After that, I go through and spread the wax on the peaks of the gear. You want to do this on all wood-on-wood -wood moving parts, on the teeth that mesh with other gears, on the parts that hold the gear in place, although not on metal or plastic. The wax feels sticky, however, my experience has been the wax only has a slight impact on the gears. Gears aren't going to stop by applying the wax if they were working before, and the additional lubrication probably isn't going to make gears work if they weren't working. There we go. Done with all the troughs. Now to do a quick run across the top to make sure I didn't miss anything. Okay, do this on all the other eight or nine gears and then you are ready to put them together.